kindly acknowledge uh, when your name is present, our presiding officer or presiding chairman, Captain Eduardo G. G. Diaz. Okay, present. Um, Vice Chairman, Attorney Roberto Martin Buenaventura. Engineer Arnold Balucating. Engineer Arnel Borlado. A present online. Miss Amneris Gabriel. Engineer Elmer Gomez. Present online. Um, ADMS user, uh, architect. Um, for the back secretariat, your study, Frank Edward Marty. Uh, Maria Cristina Malon. Present online po. Mr. John Christian Cala. Miss Odessa Cortez. Mr. Jose Marie Anthony Elegio. Present online. Mr. Uh, Mr. Alfred Sheldon Ceballos. Present. Pre uh, Mr. Jofferan Joseph Torrefranca. Present. Good morning. For the back secretariat, uh, Engineer Leandro Marquez. Miss Eloy Casimiro, our middle staker. Miss Alma Hilo. Present online. Omar Palivino. Mr. Thomas Duc Santos. Miss Nina Costel Romasanta. And Present po. Miss Sandra Sordan. Um, for our for for today's observer, Mr. Chair, we also invited um, representatives from the Commission on Audit. We also invited PCCI, the Internal Audit Service. We have here Ms. Jean Veloso. We it's also online. Invited, Thank you. We also invited a uh, representative from ASFI. And uh, considering, sir, that uh, today's agenda involves the um, DOTR downloaded project, so we have here representative from the Department of Transportation, Engineer Abelardo Sorry, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good morning, sir, June. And we also invited the procurement division representatives. That's all for the roll call, Mr. Chair. So now, sir, um, we can now proceed to the, the main agenda of uh, today's meeting, which is the pre-bid conference for the project entitled Expansion of Passenger Terminal Building at Davao International Airport with bid number 22.003-06 Charlie with a uh, ABC of the project amounting to 699 million. 549,324 pesos and 15 centavos. This is a DOT and downloaded project. And at the end, we have 14 leaders who bought the documents. And uh, we are now requesting the chair that the uh, prospective leaders in the group be allowed to enter the room, sir. Uh, uh, Attorney Marty. Yes, sir. You you are cutting out. You are cutting out. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, we have uh, 14 prospective bidders for today's uh, meeting, Mr. Chair, and uh, we are now requesting the chair uh, for the permission to allow the prospective bidders who are now in the waiting room to be admitted in uh, the Room, Mr. Chair. Okay, proceed. Back Secretariat, please. Please admit the prospective bidders. Thank you. Good morning uh, to our prospective bidders. Welcome to the pre-bid conference for the project expansion of passenger terminal building at Davao International Airport. 
for um, records purposes, may we request the bidders to please type your name and the company you represent in our chat chat box. And uh, Mr. Chair, um, the technical working group is now ready to present the bid documents uh, and other related documents for the go. project. Okay, go ahead. Secretariat, please, can you confirm if you can now see our, um, my screen? Secretariat? Uh, for this uh, pre-bidding conference, Mr. Chair, uh, Engineer um, Sheldon Alfred Cevallos will present uh, on behalf of the Technical Working Group. Engineer Cevallos, please. Um, good morning, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair and the uh, members of the Peace and Awards Committee. Uh, I will be presenting to you uh, for this mo uh, morning the presentation for the procurement of expansion of passenger terminal building. Oh, uh, zero six Charlie. Uh, this August thirty twenty twenty two. Okay. For ITB clause one the procuring entity is the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. The name of the contract is Procurement of Expansion of Passenger Terminal Building at Dabao International Airport with identification number of the, of the contract is bid number 22-003-06 Charlie. For ITB Clause 2.0, the funding source is the Government of the Philippines through source of funding as indicated below for CAAP ABBCY 2021 in the amount of 699 million 524 pesos and 15 cents. Variety because 3.0. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, there is a noise coming from uh, somewhere, no? Can you hear that? Did you hear that? Because I cannot hear you clearly. Uh, mukhang somebody left their uh, mic on. It's interfering with your presentation. So, sorry for that, Mr. Chair. Babalik na lang pa ako na sa ano. All right. Thank you. So again, for ITB Clause 2.0, the funding source is the government of the Philippines through the source of funding as indicated below for CAAP uh, Annual Procurement Plan CY 2021 in the amount of 699,549,324 pesos and 15 cents. Next, for ITB Clause 3.0, uh, Certificate of Set Inspection is required as uh, Annex B Form 1 uh, should be duly signed by Engineer Rex A. Obsena, the airport manager of Dabao International Airport, or his duly authorized representative, uh, is, uh, is required to be submitted. This shall include all the following documents as attachment to the certificate of site inspection and shall form part of the bidder's technical documents. A is a copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. B, a copy of the airport or the facility visitor logbook with the entry of the name and signature of the person who conducted the site inspection. And letter C, picture of the proposed site including the personnel who conducted the site inspection together with the airport manager or the officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. So, 
presenting to you the sample form for the uh, Annex B or the Form 1 and the sample for company ID and the airport logbooks. So, next uh, requirement for ITB Clause 5.2. For this purpose, similar contracts shall be referred to contracts which have the same major categories of work, which shall be building construction imp or improvement or re rehabilitation or repair. For uh, requirement for I ITB Clause 7.1, Subcontracting is not allowed. Next requirement. For ITB Clause 10.1, bidder shall submit all eligibility and technical documents as specified in Section 10. Checklist of the uh, technical and financial documents. Then for ITB Clause 10.3 requirement is uh, valid pickup license or special pickup license in, in case of joint ventures and registration for large B or uh, license category AAA for building an industrial plant for the type and cost of the contract to be bid. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. For the requirements for the IDB clause 10.4, the minimum work experience requirements for key personnel are the following. For key personnel, uh, project manager, project engineer, material engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, civil, sanitary, uh, for architect, surveyor, construction foreman, and for safety and health officers, is uh, five years in general engineering, or three years in building construction improvement or rehabilitation or repair for relevant experience. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. Next requirement for ITB clause 10.5. The minimum major equipment requirements are the following. Two units cargo truck, 11 to 12 tonner, 290 HP, US and other makes. Two units hydraulic excavator or backhoe. Uh, 0.92 cubic in capacity with uh, 300 HP. Uh, two units generator set, 251300 kilowatt. Uh, four units transit mixer. Um, eight units dump truck. One unit water truck with water pump. One unit pneumatic roller. Two units wheel loader. Two units truck mounted crane. Hydraulic telescopic boom, one unit pump grid um, with one unit trailer with tractor or low bed. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. Next requirement for the ITB clause 11.1 The discount stated in the financial bid form shall be computer written with the same font style and size as of the whole text of the said form. Discounts that are either handwritten, typewritten, or computer written in other font style and size shall not be considered. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. For ITB Clause 11.1, the second bid envelope shall contain the financial documents for the bid as specified in Section 10. Checklist of technical and financial documents. Uh, this shall include the complete accomplishment of all the following documents as stated and required under Section 8 of the PBD or the, the bidding documents and shall form part of the bidder's financial documents. Letter A is the original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form, and letter B, the bill of quantities or the Annex C form 1, and letter C, the detailed breakdown of component of each item or the Annex C form 2, and unit price analysis for letter D as the Annex C form 3, and for letter E, 
Summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates, and, equip, uh, and equipment rentals used in coming up with the bid, or the Annex C Form 4, 5, and 6, and letter D, cash flow and payment schedule as Annex C Form 7. Modifications and or alteration on the stated requirements in the financial document forms, BOQ, summary of bid proposal, and bill of materials and cost estimates shall not be allowed. Applicable CAAP box standard forms included in these bidding documents shall be complied with in accordance with the prescribed forms under the Section 9 Bidding Forms Annex C. Bids not complying with above instruction shall be disqualified. For ITB Clause 11.2 requirement, bid exceeding the ABC of the project shall be disqualified. For ITB Clause 15.1 requirement, the bid security shall be in the form of a bid secure declaration or any of the following forms and amounts. For letter A, the amount of not less than 2% of ABC. If bid security is in cash, cashier's or manager's check, bank drop or guarantee, or a, revoc a revocable letter of credit. For letter B, the amount of not less than 5% of ABC if bid security is not insured to bank. For ITB Clause 16.0 16 requirement, each and every page thereof shall be initiated or signed by the duly authorized representatives of the bidder. Submitted eligibility, technical, and financial documents shall be properly marked with index tabs or ear tab and must be, sub, sub, uh, must be sequentially paginated in accurate order in the form, for example, page 3 of 100 page number of the last of the document per envelope basis. Pagination should be sequential based on the entire span of the whole document inside the envelope. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. Each bidder shall submit one copy of the first and second components of its bid. Here are sample of the uh, content of your submissions, uh, sample for the table of contents, sample for the index tabs or the year tabs, sample for the signature on uh, every page, and the pagination. Next requirement for I ITB Clause 16.0, each bidder shall submit one original copy of the technical component and financial eligibility documents. All envelopes must be labeled as follows. For letter A, name of the contract to be bid in capital letters. Letter B, name and address of the bidder in capital letters. Letter C, name and address of the procuring entities back identified in the ITB clause number 10.1. Letter D, bear the specific identification of this bidding process indicated in the invitation to bid. And lastly, bear a warning, do not open before the date and time for the opening of bids in accordance with ITB Clause 21. Additional requirement for ITB Clause 16.0, the procuring entity's address is Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, Mia Road, Corner Ninoy, Aquino Avenue, 1300 Pasay City, Metro Manila. In the name of Captain Edgardo G. Diaz, Chairperson, Bids and Awards Committee, with a telephone number and website as shown. For ITB Clause 17.0, the address for submission of bids is at back office with the address Civil Division Authority of the Philippines, we are road corner Ninoy at Nino Avenue, 1300 Pasay City, Metro Manila. For 
IDB clause 19.2 requirement, partial bid is not allowed. The infrastructure project is packaged in a single lot and the lot shall not be divided into sublots for the purpose of bidding, evaluation, and contract award. For ITB clause 20.0 uh, 20 requirement, the bidder with the lowest calculated bid or LCB that complies with and is responsible to all the requirements and conditions shall be, I'm sorry, uh, the bidder with the lowest calculated bid or the LCB that complies with and is responsive to all the requirements and conditions shall submit its, for letter A, latest income and business tax returns filed through the electronic filing and payment system or EFPS. For B, business licenses and permits required by law. Sample is the registration certificate, mayor's permit, tax clearance, and pickup license. For letter C, latest audited financial statements. And letter D, the key personal licenses. Failure to submit any of the post-qualification requirements on time or a finding against the veracity thereof shall disqualify the bidder for award, provided that in the event that a finding against the veracity of any of the documents submitted is made, it shall cause the forfeiture of the bid security in accordance with Section 69 of the IRR of RA 9184. For ITB Clause 21.0 requirement, the following relevant project documents are required to be submitted by the successful bidder who submitted the lowest calculated response bid as part of the contract agreement during its signing. Letter A, construction schedule. B, bar chart and S curve. Letter C, PERT CPM network diagram. Letter D, manpower schedule. Letter E, construction methods. And lastly, equipment utilization schedule. Construction safety and health programs approved by the Department of Labor and Employment for the expansion of passenger terminal building at Dabao International Airport is also required. Uh, showing you the sample forms for these bids. Okay, so those are the uh, sample forms included in these big documents. So for the checklist of technical and financial documents, letter I, technical component envelope, or the uh, class A documents for the legal documents, valid Phil Jeff's registration certificate, platinum membership, all pages, registration certificate from Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, or from the Department of Trade and Industry, or the DTI, for sole, sole proprietorship, or Cooperative Development Authority, or CDA, for cooperatives or its equivalent document. Another document required is mayor's or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located, or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Then, tax clearance per EO number 398 series of 2005 as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue or the BIR. Another additional requirement, statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be built. This is in Annex A, Form 1. 
Next requirement is the statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract or the SLCC, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided and under the rules or under the rules. This is a uh, Annex A Form 2. Next requirement for the technical documents is Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or the PICAB license or special pickup license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid and joint resolution. This is uh, Annex A Form 3. And for uh, technical component and below class A documents for technical documents, uh, uh, requirements are statement of the prospective bidder of all its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started. If any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity in the contract to be bid. And it's A, Form 1. Next, statement of the bidder's single largest completed contract, SLCC, similar to the contract to be bid, except under conditions provided under the rules, or the Annex A Form 2. That is the Philippine Contract Contractors Accreditation Board, or the pickup license, or special pickup license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid, and joint, res uh, and joint res uh, resolution. Sorry. That is uh, Annex A Form 3. And lastly, the original copy of bid security if in the form of a surety bond. Submit also a certification issued by the Insurance Commission or original copy of notarized bid security uh, securing declaration or the Annex B Form 2. Project requirements which shall include uh, also the following, or, uh, organizational chart for the contract to be bid, that is Annex B Form 3. The list of contractors' key personnel, example, the project manager, project engineers, materials engineers, and foreman, to be assigned to the contract to be bid with their complete qualification and experience data. That is Annex B Form 4, 5A, 5B and 5C. And additional requirement is the list of contractors major equipment units which are owned, leased, and or under purchase agreements supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment for the equipment lesser or vendor for the duration of the project, as the case may be. That is Annex B, Form 6. Additional requirement is the original duly signed omnibus sworn statement or OSS that is Annex B Form 7 and if applicable, original notarized secretary certificate in case of incorporation, partnership or cooperative or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the omnibus sworn statement and do acts to represent the bidder. And this shall include all the following documents as attached to the omnibus sworn statement. First is the certification under oath attesting that they have no pending case or cases against the government in addition to the eligibility requirements as pre uh, prescribed under the 2016 revised implementing rules and regulation or the RIRR of RA uh, 9184, legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. And lastly, the bid bulletins if applicable. Additional requirement is a certificate of site inspection or the Annex B, duly signed uh, by Engineer Rex A. Obsena, the airport manager of Dabao International Airport or his duly authorized representative, and 
This shall include all the following document as attachment to the certificate of site inspection. First is the copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Number two, the copy of the airport or the facilities visitor's logbook. And lastly, picture of the proposed site including the personnel who conducted the site inspection together with the airport manager or the officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. For Class A documents, financial documents, the requirements are the prospective bidder's audited financial statements showing, among others, the prospective bidder's total and current assets and liabilities stamp received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the proceedings calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission and the prospective bidder's computation of net financial contracting capacity or the NFCC. For Class B documents, if applicable, duly signed joint venture agreement or GVA in accordance with RA uh, 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence or duly notarized statements from all the potential joint venture partners stating, stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the GVA in the instance that the bid is successful. For the financial component envelope, the fol uh, following requirements are original of duly signed and accomplished financial bid form, other documental requirements under RA 9 9184. Next is the original of duly signed bid prices in the Bill of Quantities or the Annex C Form 1. Detailed break, breakdown of component of each item as the Annex C Form 2. And unit price analysis, Annex C Form 3. And summary sheet indicating the unit prices of construction materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals used in coming up with the bid. That is Annex C, Form, 5, uh, Form 4, 5, and 6. And cash flow by quarter and payment schedule as Annex C, Form 7. Um, next, Mr. Uh, Chair uh, would be presenting the uh, details of the project, showing you the plans and scope of work. So... This one, Mr. Chair, uh, with the color red, this is the area or the project site. Uh, this is the uh, view from the ground. This is the uh, bird's eye view. This one will be the uh, project. Okay. Uh, the perspective, front view, the land side, yeah. the interior at the uh, chicken uh, area, going to the departure area. The interior perspective for the arrival area. Uh, this is the ground floor plan. The second floor plan and the roof deck plan. So this is the front and the rear uh, elevation. Uh, on top is the land side, then the, uh, at the bottom is the air side. The left and right side elevation. And the uh, scope of work of the project, um, SPL1, mobilization and mobilization, um, yeah. 
Section Series 1000, uh, General Requirements and Civil Works. Section 1120, Employers and Engineers Facilities, one lot. Uh, section 1130, Safety, Health, Environmental Management and Monitoring, one lot. Section 1165, Contractor Submission, um, one lot. Section 1210, Project Equipment, one, one lot. Section 1400, Earthworks for Site Development and Building Works, one lot. Section 1500, Pavement Works, one lot. Section 1600, Drainage Work, uh, one lot. Section 1700, Miscellaneous Works, one lot. Section 1800, Concrete for Structures, one lot. And for Section Series 2000, where the structural, Section 2100, or the Structural Concrete Work for Building Works, one lot. Section 2200, Structural Steel Work, one lot. Section 2300, Block Works, one lot. For Section Series 3000 or the Architectural Works, Section 3100, Termite Control, one lot. Section 3200, Waterproofing, one lot. Section 3300, Roofing, Cladding, and Facades, one lot. Section 3400, Doors and Windows. Section 3500, Metal Work. Section 3600, Woodwork and Partitions, one lot. Section 3700, fin Finishes, one lot. Section 3800, Miscellaneous Fittings, uh, Furnitures, one lot. Section 3900, Signages. For Section Series 4000, or the Mechanical and Fire Protection, Section 4100, Ventilation and Air Conditioning System, one lot. Section 4200, Fire Protection System, one lot. Section Series 5000, or the Sanitary. Section 5100, Water Supply Pipeline, one lot. Section 5200, Sanitary and Plumbing System, one lot. Section Series 6000, or the Electrical Works. Section 6100, Power Supply System, one lot. Power Feeder System, uh, system one lot for Section 6200. Uh, section 6300, Lighting and Wiring Device System, one lot. Section Series 7000, or the Telecommunication. Section 7100, Telephone and Data System, one lot. Section 7200, Cable TV System, one lot. Section 7300, Public Address System, one lot. Section 7400, uh, Master Clock System, one lot. Section uh, 7500, IP CCTV System, one lot. Section 7600, Fire Detection Alarm System, one lot. Section 6900 or the Flight Information Display System or the FIDS, one lot. For Section Series 8000 or the Special Equipment, uh, Section 8100, Elevators and Escalators, one lot. Section 8200, Baggage Handling System, one lot. Section 8300, the Airport Security and Safety System, one lot. For the general provisions, provisions for staff house, service vehicles, laptops, printers, cameras, platters, furniture, and other materials, devices, and equipment under special item or temporary facilities shall not include OCM and the contractor's profit. The contractor shall be responsible in providing safety perimeter fence or security fence or security fences. Personal Protective Equipment or the PPE for staffs and workers on site while construction is, go is ongoing. Safety reports should be prepared regularly. 
The contractor shall be responsible for all laboratory, material testing, building and safety permits, and survey equipments necessary in the project implementation. These expenses shall be incorporated in the contractor's overhead cost and shall not be considered as pay item. That's all, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thank you. Sir, at this juncture, sir, uh, we are the technical working group together with the um, end user of the project, sir, are now ready to accept um, clarifications or questions from our uh, prospective bidders. Um, we also would like to remind our respective bidder, sir, that uh, the submission and the opening of bids for this project is on September 13, 2022, 2 p.m. here at the back conference room, PMO building, Kaap uh, Complex, Pasay City. Question? Yes, po, sir. Uh, uh, for those who, who will be asking questions, po, can you state your name? Uh, can you state your name po and the company you represent before raising your questions or clarifications? Po? Okay, sir. Uh, Frank Herrera from uh, Runnet Builders and First and Transaction Inc. Uh, po lang, sir, yung dito sa legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP enforcement, saan po namin i-acquire nito? Um, sir, for the CAAP clearance po, uh, meron po da tayo dito sa uh, CAAP po mismo, uh, yung enforcement and legal service po namin po, nandito po sa likod ng office po, ng, malapit lang po sa back office, pwede po kayong kumuha ng clearance and you can easily get this clearance naman po. Kasi yung sa amin, nandito kami sa Mindanao eh. Um, so, uh, hindi pa pwedeng i-email na lang or mag-request kami sa email. Okay, sir. Uh, you can actually send uh, your application for legal clearance as well through email, sir. We will just issue a bid bulletin to effect uh, yung RME to to reflect po kung saan po kayo pwede mag-apply ng bid bulletin uh, ng uh, legal clearance po through uh, email po. Okay, so hintayin na lang namin yung uh, bid bulletin. Yes po, sir. Please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions may, pa po from may, our... Can I also ask a question? Uh, ma'am, um, can you introduce your name po, ma'am, in the yes. company you represent? Uh, good morning. This is Tiffany Gamboa from Hashtag Ventures and Development Inc. Uh, sir, I have uh, a question or a query. Uh, on the big, bu uh, big documents that was posted on field jobs, uh, page 88 to 116, the detailed breakdown of component for each item, e malabo. Can you request for a clearer copy? Because we cannot read. It is impossible. It is not readable. Okay. Um, for, for that, ma'am, uh, you may secure a copy uh, of the complete B documents together with the plans and drawing. Um, here at our back office, um, it is contained in uh, one USB or flash drive, so uh, you can uh, secure a copy of the entire documents for this project through uh, in, in our back secretariat. Po. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Po. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, on the clarification, po. Hi, sir, can uh, you I, introduce your name and company, sir? Ah uh, yes sir. Uh, I'm uh, John Canet Reyes uh, from uh, Prismodial Construction and Development Corporation. Yes, uh, yes sir. Uh, Tatanong ko lang po uh, regarding sa mga bid bulletin. Uh, talaga isasama ko ito sa ano no sa uh, technical component lahat ng cop copies ng bid bulletin. You know? Yes po sir. Lahat po ng issued bid bulletins for this project um kasama po siya doon sa attachment sa omnibus sworn statement. So, uh, i-attach po lahat ng bid bulletin po, sir. Yes, yes. Okay, yun lang po. Yun lang po, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, clarification again from uh, Rednet Builders. Thank you, Yes po, sir. Uh, sir, dun, uh, nakalagay ko dun, kasi dun sa uh, Mindox na one copy lang sa technical at financial. So, one copy lang. Wala nang 
copy one, copy two. Wala na po, sir. Uh, pwede pong mag-submit ng one copy lang po. One original copy ng technical, one original copy ng financial documents. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, we also have here questions from uh, AMR Construction and Supplies from Mr. Kylie Mariano, AMR. His question is, may we request copy of editable version of the Bill of Quantities and Unit Price Analysis? Um, sir, I think uh, we cannot provide you an editable. We can give you the... Uh, PDF file of uh, the document po, sir. Um, your second question is for the surveyor. What is required, civil engineer or geodetic engineer? Uh, may we request ADMS uh, end user, please, for the sec second question, sir, sir Emerson? Uh, for the surveyor, uh, license, uh, license geodetic engineer. Thank you. Or a Thank civil you. engineer Are with license of um, genetic engineer. So, uh, as, the, as, the requirements. as reply, uh, as uh, emphasized po by architect Salas, it should be genetic engineer. And uh, you, the third question is may we request a copy of the presentation of the pre bid? Um, sir, uh, the pre bid po. Uh, presentation may be secured also from our back secretariat. At the same time, um, this uh, via, I mean, uh, this presentation is also available sa YouTube account po namin kasi naka-upload naka, naka din po itong uh, meeting po na to. So we have here also a question from Mr. Oliver Maravilla. Sir, meron po ba matanggap na down payment kung maa-award sa contractor and project. Sir, as of now po, sir, uh, the policy of uh, the authority as well as the DOTR is that no advance payment po. So, uh, Mr. Oliver, uh, we do not provide no advance ah, Okay po, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh, Mr. Robert Tan, he also has a question regarding a clear copy of the detailed estimates from purchase USB. Some pages are still unreadable. Okay, sir, uh, we will address this one, sir. We will provide a new copy. Um, our end user, the ADMS, will be providing a new copy, a clearer version of the detailed estimates. From Mr. Mel Montes. Uh, R2 Builders, may we request a copy of the specification sheets? Uh, sir, all the documents uh, in relation to uh, these projects are available sa field jobs po. At the same time, at the same time, if you purchase po yung B documents, you will be given the USB containing all the all the documents, including the specification sheet that you are mentioning, sir. Um, we have here a question from Mr. Agustin Celes. Can you provide the date site inspection? Um, for the date of site inspection, sir, uh, the site inspection can be done anytime uh, during office hours. Um, you just go to the, the Davao International Airport office and um, the office of the airport manager and they will accompany you you to the site for, for the conduct of the site inspection po. So, uh, the site inspection may be done before, uh, of course, the submission of the bids. Surf off. Uh, also have here a question from the list of Sir, hashtag venture. Sir, for the list of ongoing projects, should we attach supporting documents? Um, for the ongoing project, sir, um, you may, uh, we, we have a specific form for that. Uh, it's also attached in our bid documents and uh, there are specific instructions in filling out uh, such form. 
as well as the necessary attachment for that, sir. Uh, nandun po siya sa form po mismo na nakasama din po sa big documents ng, ng project po na to. Do we have other questions from prospective bidders? Good morning. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Good morning po. This is Ira Castillo from MEC CAD Construction. We would yes, like to ask uh, if, if there is a possibility na may extend po yung date ng bid submission kasi uh, we need the, uh, the final date of the bid submission para po dun sa pag apply ng special pickup license. Okay. Um, as of now, ma'am, uh, the... Uh, deadline for submission and opening of bids is on September 13. Um, if you are requesting for the extension, you may just write the the uh, authority through our chairman, po, the Bids and Awards Committee chairman, requesting for the extension. But as of now, ma'am, uh, the submission of opening of bids is on September 13. That is also the deadline for the submission, po. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Bo. And we have here a question from Mr. Robert Tan regarding the following items. We would like to clarify if the following items only require the hardware only or including the software. Flight information system, baggage handling system, self-service kiosk. Um, may we request our end user from ADMS, please, to respond to uh, this particular query, sir? Architect. Uh, so, uh, Sir, uh, for that uh, question, uh, for the pet information system, uh, yung Hardware lang po, included po. Or yung sa baggage handling system and sub-service uh, service kiosk with, with software po yun. Ah, sorry, yung, yung number three with software po. Pero sa flight so, information na po, yung hardware po. Uh, for the baggage handling system at saka self-service kiosk in uh, architect, it's... Um, Hardware and software. Yes, and, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. For flight and, information system, hardware is po yung uh, included dun sa scope of work. Okay, for the flight and information you, system po, it's the hardware po. Yes, we would self-service kiosk with uh, application po, with, with software po yun. Hardware and software. Uh, I hope uh, we answered all your questions, Mr. Robert Tan. We also have here a question from Arn Builders. When would be the deadline of the sub bid submittals and date of opening of bids? Uh, sir, as mentioned po earlier and as presented by uh, Engineer Sevalios, the deadline for the submission and opening of bids is on September 13, 2 o'clock in the afternoon here at Back Conference Room CAAP Office. Okay, um, I, I guess we, we don't have any other questions from our prospective bidders. So again, a uh, reminder to all our prospective bidders, the deadline of submission and opening of bids is on September 13, 2 p.m. here at Back Conference Room. Um, we also remind our prospective bidders that you still have the opportunity to uh, write and uh, raise your questions or clarifications. Uh, you send. You have to send it on or before uh, ten calendar days before. Uh, no, it's ten calendar days before the opening of bids. Po. So that would be September three. So, should we have any questions or queries? Pa po, pwede pa po kayong sumulat uh, on or before September three. Uh, give uh, the end user and the technical working group to uh, respond 
to your queries po and to make necessary uh, bid bulletin should uh, it requires uh, the the adjustments po to our bid documents. Engineer, uh, architect? Uh, regarding the question kanina, yung flight information system and self-service kiosk, uh, hardware and uh, software. Sorry for the first information po. Yeah. So, uh, Sir Sir Robert Tan, uh, in response to your uh, uh, question po whether uh, we only require hardware and software for the flight information system, FIDS, baggage handling system, and self-service kiosk, uh, all of this, sir, requires hardware and software po. Tama po, architect? Yes, sir. So, uh, please take note po, uh, Sir Robert Tan, uh, that we require the hardware and the software for um, these three items that you mentioned in the chat box po. Okay. Um, again, uh, I, I uh, repeat po, you still have uh, the chance po na mag-raise pa po ng questions. Just write us and uh, send to uh, our email or send it uh, through our box secretariat on or before September 3. And uh, of course, the deadline of the submission and bids uh, and opening of bids is on September 13, 2022, 2 p.m. po. So with that, uh, we, we thank our prospective bidders for uh, participating today's pre-bid conference and uh, we hope to see all your submissions on September 13, 2022. Thank you, bidders, prospective bidders. Mr. Chair, uh, requesting uh, that uh, the prospective bidders be excused from uh, the meeting room, sir. Yes, proceed, please. Uh, Secretariat, can you please uh, remove all the uh, prospective bidders so we can uh, move to the next agenda of our meeting?